So it's got some pretty good cubic inches in here. This will just be the hardware box for the AutoCrafter. Fence rack mounted 19 inch hardware, but uh, I have other plans for this thing. And here's the first little upgrade. Let there be light. Gotta get it mounted. The halo effect is not something I'm going for. Warning messages, huh? So here's the bottom punch out for the server cabinet. It's gonna knock this out so all the cables will run through this. Since I'm gonna be mounting this thing to the wall on the backside. Normally I'd punch out the backside if I could, but the bottom is my next best option. There we go, just like grinding tack welds. All right, make a little uh, DIY grommet. To go around the edge. Oh, this thing has an angry face now. Just opted for tape here instead of glue, so hope that doesn't bite me later. Man, this thing is dusty. I like simple solutions for little problems. The little problem would be holding this in while you're trying to screw something into it, while there's some other components in the way. So a little box nut clips in and just holds itself. Excellent. I'm kind of just staging everything right now. I'm not securing everything in its final position. I'll um, pretty much be zip tying basically everything in here. I think that's the simplest and elegant solution. And I'm all about not having to drill a bunch of holes in these things. I got all the power supplies in for the motors, X, Y, and Z. Actually, I don't know. I could hook it up any way I want. The uh, cable management situation is gonna be a nightmare in this thing. Still waiting on my tripod, by the way, so everything's handheld. I've got a shelf on bay number three, so I'm gonna skip two and put the next shelf on bay number five. That leaves me three bays above mine to just put everything in there. That should be plenty. Get it closer to this fan to maximize its capabilities as well. Okay, bay number two. Well, wrong terminology there. Shelf attached to bay number six is installed. Here's the main components I need to shove in there. Let's get at it. All right, let's get to zip tying through these little slots and around basically anything I can get my zip ties around. Okay, I give up. I'm gonna pull the whole thing back out. Just too difficult. I think it'd be way easier outside and I kind of know where things are at. Okay, 
We got green LEDs. Always a good sign. I don't know how you dial in a 3D printer, but I take a more machinist approach. This is one of my treasures. I can't say it's completely accurate anymore, but it is awesome. A Starrett dial indicator, 25-141. Now I've looked on here and there's no date of manufacture, but I'm guessing around 88, 89. Correct me if I'm wrong on that or if you know a way to find out the date on these. Now this has a half of an inch of range. More than enough. And those graduations are in tenths of an inch. I'll be using this little bad boy to dial in the steps per millimeter. Oh, that is good. Nice backlash on that. Okay, for that move right there, it was supposed to end up right on the 10 here in the light, where the light is. So, long way to go. Okay, get a little closer. I'm supposed to end up on the negative 10 or positive 10. I forgot which way I'm going. So, hold on, let's try now. Great, Jeremiah, pick something with a whole bunch of glare on it, please. Um, Got a shadow in there for you, that should help. A little off, I'd say half a graduation there, somewhere around there. Getting closer, way closer. Sorry about the engine noise in the background. Neighbors. All right, decided to go the other way. Minimize some of that glare on the dial cover for you. This should, this test should end up on a zero. So, let's check it out. I need a remote control for this. It's pressing this so close yet so far. One more shot. So close yet so far. According to my calculations, I need to add nine and a half steps. Let me do nine and see how close I get. All right, one more time. There we go, blaming the tools. It's definitely, I think I went the wrong way in the steps. Oops. All right, went, reversed my logic, so hopefully this should land right on the button. Let's check it out. Booyah. Uh, we need to beat over, but you know, a perfectionist here. Uh, just for perspective, this whole distance is just over a millimeter. Okay, Turn up the word on, please. 